in lieu of everything going on today, uh, well, actually, specifically yesterday, I guess now, because it was a little slow compared to all the other YouTubers just getting a video out. Anyways, as you all probably know, Andrew Tate got arrested or detained, whatever the, the term it is. Uh, but he's been arrested, been taken, taken off the streets on accounts of sex trafficking charges. But... Well, I'm not here to really talk about that. I was planning on making a video talking about his comments on Christianity and his conversion to Islam. And so with everything going on right now, I thought, yeah, I might as well just put it back here now because I've been preparing it for a few days. But besides the point, to sum it up, basically, everyone knows who Andrew Tate is, especially if you're looking at this video. But what I want to look at specifically are his comments and his reasonings for why he has become a, a Muslim, became a Muslim, is a Muslim, however you want to put it, and his specifically his views on Christianity. All right, so that's basically his reasonings for why religion and God has to exist. That for equal and opposite force, uh, whichever Newton's third law is, <laughs> there has to be a good for the evil. And because of the evil that we have in the world, therefore, God has to be real. That is a fine deduction that anyone can have that, okay, with how the world is, there has to be something better than this. I think that is a very natural understanding and a natural re reaction, honestly, to wanting to find God. An uh, answer for why thing is, things are going and looking so bad and just terrible. That That's pretty, pretty all plain and simple. And what I think is the big thing, though, that I feel specifically with Andrew is his reasonings because God therefore exists he there must therefore be a right religion and that that's where I want to more focus on and look at so we have this I think it's the last religion on the planet I'm talking about Islam I think it's the last religion so if it's the, if it's the last true religion on the planet then it has to be the correct one because I don't think any other, it the last one? it's the last religion because no other religion has boundaries which they enforce. If you stand, if you will tolerate everything, then you stand for nothing. If your book says X, but you refuse to say the book says this, I'm sick to what the book says. It doesn't matter what the subject is, right? I don't want to make us bad. I think, so everyone, saying, I think like, everyone can work it out. If you're a Christian, 99% of Christians are ignoring every single rule inside the Bible can every Christians single day. Christians interpret the Bible. You're saying like they like pick and choose what they want to. Oh yeah, stick they'll, with, yeah, they'll try and say I interpret it differently. I believe in God, but you know I don't believe in that part. That that's not what the book says. It doesn't seem it doesn't say ignore half of me. It says <laughs> only Muslims follow their book. No, true, no, true. Uh, so they're the last religion. Yeah. If, who gives a shit if Christians come along and say I'm a Christian? You know, give a fuck. You ignore the. <laughs> okay okay so he has a few funny funny bits in there but the ba the basic idea is for andrew he views the fact that christianity is not adherent to what our own book says the bible says muslims are he i i couldn't find the clip but there's the clip of him talking about Oh, wait, no, it's, it's in this clip, actually. It's later on in this interview uh, that we just said, the full send interview, of where he's like, if you go into a country and you misrepresent Muhammad, you get jumped. And if you misrepresent Jesus, nobody really cares. If you're in a Muslim country, you 
the Muslims might care. If you're in a Christian country, no one cares. And that was something that was one that's a point of belief and faith that I think Andrew does not understand about Christianity inherently. As Christians, we are going to be mocked. And as Christ followers, we're going to be persecuted for our faith. Jesus was ridiculed in his own life. So to have a defense, a physical defense, a physical force to save Christ, that is not something that we are called to. When Jesus was taken in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, excuse my lisp, it's really bad whenever I try to say th- he rebuked Peter for cutting off one of the soldiers, or I think it was a serving, serving one of, one of the servants when they came to arrest Jesus. He rebuked Peter for cutting off the ear of someone and healed the ear. He's like, no, 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 no. We, we don't do that here. And I think that is a perfect example of how we are to take the abuse that is given out to Christians. That we are to uphold God's laws, God's rules, but we are not to enforce them, inflict them on others, and beat them, in a sense, to our point of view. To be a light on a hill, uh, as my tattoo here is kind of representing, be that, be that light. I cannot just then be a light by bashing everyone with a rock. That's not going to make any sense. No one's ever going to want to listen to me if I just instantly hit them over the head with my water bottle and tell them that they're wrong. <laughs> uh, sorry. I crack myself off sometimes. I, I think I'm a hilarious comedian, and it's a slight problem because not everyone laughs at all my jokes. Yeah. But in what Andrew is also saying, and about how he views the Christians in our weakness, that is something that I full heartedly stand in agreement with. Uh, later on in that clip, he talks about the Pope and talking about the gay clergy, which, yeah, the Bible is very clear about how we are to react and interact with people in sin and it is very clear that homosexuality is a sin so obviously if we are then making amends we we don't have any ground to stand on if we make amends and are like well we can adjust this a little bit we can make this part a little bit nicer no we can't we shouldn't and that's where i'm going to turn this video around and call out christians call out Christ followers out there that are truly Christians. Andrew does not believe that there that there are any good Christian that or that there are any true Christians, that any that follow his follow the Bible fully. And there's a monochrome of truth in that, in the sense that we're all sinners, so we're always going to fall short. But I do not full heartedly believe that there are Christians out there that there's not one that is striving to have that perfection that we are called to have, that Paul, that Christ calls us to. False Christians are going to be the biggest struggle. And I think that the problem is the false Christians are the ones that are everywhere. And uh, it kind of makes sense. They're going to say the trendy things. They're going to be the inclusive. They're going to say the things that weren't that are going to get people on our side when the fact is we have to be the side that tells the truth and sh and shows the world who Jesus is so that they can love him for who he is and that he can fully in a sense get us <laughs> second corinthians 11:13 through 15 
for such men are false pro uh, apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. That last sentence there isn't necessarily required, but that verse is talking about what we have in society and in culture. It's the very thing that Andrew Tate is calling out, and that should be called out but we don't enforce. We don't enforce it in our churches, so why would the world care any better about us if we don't even hold to our own standards? To the Bible, to the book that we base our faith in practice on. God changes our hearts, we change our lives for him, but we can't change if we don't follow the structure and the instruction that he's left for us. 1 John 4, 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. There are many things that we need to test and put against the Bible. The Bible is the last the last pole, you know, in the tent. If that falls over, there is no belief in God anymore. So to have a faith that we don't live out the actual rules, again, a point at an actual Tate W. Yeah, we can't have a church if we don't have a actual, you know, referendum and a guide. So uh, that's that's really just the fact of it, the truth and what I'm feeling and what I know it is a imperative thing that we change not only the church but ourselves pronto so that we do not fall to the sins of the world to the world in general that, that's basically all I got to say for you right now uh, this video is, you know, in the middle of the night, so if you see it, thank you for watching, and if not, well, hopefully you'll find it eventually. But, the main point I want to point, or the main thing I want to leave you with is, what do you think about everything going on with Andrew Tate? Specifically in regards to his beliefs on faith and religion. And, I call you out, if you are a Christian to change your church, to seek God and change yourself and your church, to follow the Bible, to know what is truth, to know what is f false, and to seek out God so that you can further develop yourself, your discipleship with him. You can't have it without every aspect of it. And that is so difficult to do, but we need to strive to do it every day. But I also know I, I failed to just today, and I know I'll fail again. But as long as I turn to him, we can do better. So, and also if you have any other comments or if you just like any of the other stuff I've been doing, I stream on Twitch, I also make other YouTube videos occasionally, most of the time. Most of my day is just spent editing. It's, it's honestly a little stressful and a little annoying because I just sit, listen to myself talk, and if I think it's funny, I put it in a video. All right, peace.